Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math for 30 Days. I'll be your guide today. My name is Jeremy Tinsley. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the videos. If not, you can check out my YouTube channel, check out my website, uh, passgedmath.com. Uh, I have an incredible ebook for the low price of $19.99. And if you uh, in, uh, listen to the end of this video, you'll have a discount code that you can use um, to, to buy that ebook. So the ebook basically goes in more detail, the things that, that I discussed. Um, on these videos. So make sure you check all the videos out on the YouTube channel. Make sure you check out my website. Uh, today we'll be discussing mean, median, mode, and range. Um, this concept is on your math exam, science, and your social studies. So you have to be prepared. Um, let me clear the screen. You have to be prepared for to be able to answer all those. But this video is going to be short and sweet because it's so easy, it's unbelievable. It is so easy, it is unbelievable. You don't have to put any numbers in order. Um, all you have to do is type them into this calculator and get your answer. <laughs> that easy. So I um, hope, you, hope you're listening very carefully. This is going to be a short video. Okay, so um, let me get an example. Uh, let's see. Here we go here. Here's a good example right here. Um, let's see. The high temperatures for a seven day week during December in Chicago were 29, 31. So let's put this on here. So 29. Let me make that a little thicker. Hold on so we can see it when I do the video. And I'm going to use black and let's make it a little bit more clear. I apologize. So, um, so let me read the question again. The high temperatures for a seven day week during December in Chicago were 29, 31, 28, 32, 29, 27, and 55. Okay, so hopefully um, you, uh, you've, you've probably discussed mean and median. Uh, the mean is the average, uh, the median is the middle. The range is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. Um, and the mode is the number that appears the most. So using the TI-30X calculator, this is the, the, the only one that you cannot use to solve is mode, which is fairly easy. And it's barely asked on a GED, uh, GED exam, GED math exam. But what I can guarantee you is you will see a mean and median question on your math, science, and social studies exams. So first of all, let's get started. So first of all, uh, if you were uh, in an adult education uh, a program or in a math class, what they tell you to do is they tell you to add them all together. 29 plus 31 plus 28 plus 32 plus 29 plus 27 plus 55, okay? I'm gonna hit enter. Our total is 231. And, you divide, and then in order to find the mean, you have to divide by how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna divide that by seven. If you notice, I didn't have to enter that number again because it takes that answer that's in memory. Hit my enter and my average is 33. Easy, okay, very good. I'm glad you, um, hopefully you found that just as easy as me, but guess what? That's not the, that's not the easiest part. I'm going to show you how to use this calculator where you can find the mean and median in less than 10 to 15 seconds. So first of all, I want to do it by hand. So that's how you would find an average. Let me clear the screen. Okay. Now, if we wanted to find the median, one of the things we would have to do is we would have to put them in order. Okay. So in order to put them in order, so what's the lowest one, which is 27. 29, oops, 28, I'm sorry, 29, 29 again, 31, 
and 32 and 55. Let me erase that top part. So again, in order to find the median, you would have to put them in order from lowest to highest, and then you have to find the middle, okay? So to find the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So since we have an odd number, it's very easy. The middle is gonna have the same amount of values on the left, same amount of values on the right. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So 29 is your median. Very easy. Um, it's not hard, very easy, but watch this. What I'm about to show you, now I just did the mean, I just did the median, and it took me about two and a half minutes to find the mean and the median. What I'm about to show you takes about 30 seconds, okay? So let me clear the screen. And we're gonna do, so what I want you to do is in order to find the mean and median in the range using this calculator first, you're gonna hit data, okay? If there's something there, you're gonna hit data again, you wanna get clear all, but since there's nothing there, now we're just gonna type the numbers in the order. Doesn't matter if they are uh, sorted already. So I'm gonna put them in the original order. So 29, enter. 31, enter, 28, enter, 32, enter, 29, enter, 27, enter, and 55. If you notice that didn't take long at all, we didn't put them in order. So we put that, we entered the numbers in the column one, and then we, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit second, and we're gonna hit data, because these are all part of statistics. This is central tendencies. So we're gonna hit, hit second, and right above data, you see stat, which is stored for statistics. So we're gonna hit that. Uh, we only have one variable. We don't have two variables. So we're gonna hit one variable, hit enter. Okay, uh, all our information is in column one. Um, frequency one, so we're going to hit calculation or calc, the calculation. And you see all this looks like formulas, I don't know, all these numbers and the X bars, but watch this, I'm going to show you something, how you quickly find the average. It's right in front of you, you may not see it because you don't know, but the average is right here. X bar is equal to 33. This is another, uh, in this calculator, is another way to show or display the average. We didn't do anything. We didn't add them up. We didn't divide by anything and found our answer of 33. So I hope you found that very easy. Now I'm even show you an easier way to find the median. So let me erase the screen. So you'll see you found a mean or median, which is 33. And now to find the median, all we're going to do is scroll down. We've got our down arrows until you see MED right there. Look at that. Look at that. 29. Our median is 29 without any work. We found the mean and we found the median. Okay. So now we're not done. We want to find the range, right? Okay, so in order to find a range, what we wanna do is we wanna take this minimum, which is right here, 27, and then we're gonna scroll down until we see max. Max is 55, so we're gonna subtract those two numbers. Again, um, whether you do it by hand or do it with the calculator, it's up to you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the calculator, so I know 55 and 27, and I'm just gonna subtract um, 55 minus 27. So first of all, let's do it by hand. 55 minus 27. Of course, you had to borrow from the 5. 15 minus 7 is 8. And then 4 minus 2 is 12. So our range or our variance is 28. I guarantee they will ask you, ask you for the range or the variance in your science exam. So be ready. It's very easy. Um, so that was me. Median and range, that easy, okay? Um, the last thing I wanna do before we leave today, I told you I was gonna keep this, this video short. So let me clear the screen. The last thing I wanna show you is one of the most common problems that they use um, or, what's, or what's given on the GD, where they give you the mean. They give you the mean and they want you to find the missing value. So let me find an example. Okay, so this is an example. Um, Aaron wants the mean of his five geometry chess scores to be at least 
His scores on the first four tests are 85, 83, 96, and 91. Very easy to find out. So since we want his average to be a 90, and we, so what is the minimum score Aaron can earn on the fifth test? So they're already telling you how many exams. So what you wanna do is take that 90, multiply by five, which is gonna give you your total points, 450. Okay, you didn't wanna take these values here, your other four exams, we're gonna add them up. So we have 85, right now I'm gonna do everything by hand before I grab the calculator, plus 83 plus 96, plus 91. We're gonna add all these together. Six and one is seven, three is 10, plus five is 15. Carry your one. Um, nine and one is 10, plus nine is 19. Of course, I group those together. One and nine make 10, because you should you should know your numbers that add up to 10. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven, six, four, five, five. It makes that mental math a lot easier. So we got one and nine, which gives you 10 plus nine is 18. I mean, 19, and then we have eight, which is 27. And then we add another eight and we have 35, okay? So that's our total of our previous uh, four tests. So now we just wanna subtract that from the total that we need to have to have a 90. So 450 minus 55 gives us an answer of 95. Very easy problem. Very, very easy problem. Okay, now let's do it on the calculator. Move this out the way. Okay, so remember, we want to know our total. So we since we says our total number of points, so the average that we want is 90. We're going to multiply that by five. And we get 450. And since that answer is already in memory, we're going to subtract and we're going to sum up those other numbers. So it was 85 plus 83, plus 96, plus 91. Close my parentheses, I'm gonna hit enter. And now I have my final score of 95. And listen, mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, so listen, this is a short tutorial, a short video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Uh, my whole purpose of making these videos um, during this pandemic, I realized so many people were not able to take their GED math exam. And then when they were able to take the math exam, so many, I got so many calls uh, for assistance or tutoring uh, for, for the GED math section. So I decided to make these videos. Uh, please support me. My website is passgedmath.com. I have an ebook uh, for the low price of $19.99. Um, I do have a, 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 a Math Mondays discount. Um, so what you're going to put, um, you're going to enter the discount code in and you'll be able to get 20% off that $19.99. Again, uh, passgdmath.com. Again, I was your, I've been your host, Jeremy Tinsley. Uh, send me an email, uh, comment on, your, on, on the YouTube channel, any comments, um, because guess what? I'm going to help you pass your GED Math exam in 30 days. And Hope to see you soon.